Hey you guys, it's me Brittany, aka Pineapple Vegan, and I'm back with another video. Today we are making vegan tuna melt. Should I do it this way? Vegan tuna melt. There are a lot of recipes out there for vegan tuna melt and vegan tuna. A lot of them are very similar and some of them are a lot different. So this is just the way I make mine. So let's start out and I'm gonna tell you guys what you will need. First, you will need garbanzo beans or two cans of chickpeas. And this is what I have here. I um, rinse them and drain them. And so a lot of people actually like to leave theirs room temperature, like straight out of the can. I don't, I like for it to be slightly warm. So I did microwave it for 30 to 45 seconds, only because it's easier to mash. And then the flavors blend really well. You don't have to warm it up if you don't want to. That's just the way I do, okay? And then also, I have some sweet relish, vegan mayo, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of Old Bay, and a half of a teaspoon of original blend Mrs. Dash, salt-free seasoning, black pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt, a little bit of raw cane sugar, mustard, and then I also have some follow your heart pepper jack cheese. I love this cheese, like my fridge outside is full of this cheese and it's gonna be phenomenal on this sandwich. And obviously, your bread. These are just like hoagie sausage rolls. They're vegan, of course, and you need to mash it. So first, we're gonna go ahead and mash up our chickpeas. Basically, you just want it to have like a, the texture um, of tuna. Don't mash it too much, because we're not making hummus. Let me actually get a bigger bowl. So I'm gonna use this plate. We're gonna end up putting it back. So as you mash, you're gonna see like these little chickpea jackets. Seven. Remove them as you wish. Um, they're not really a big deal. It's a lot in here, so that's why I'm moving, removing some of them. But honestly, it doesn't matter. So with this recipe, you can add seaweed like I did in my catfish video. I don't want to. I don't think it needs it. But if you choose to, you can. Somebody said something about how the fact that I have so many kids, how's my house always so quiet when I film? Because I threaten them. I threaten them bad. Now, I worked on this because I want to say this to you as nice as possible. You understand? Yeah. Y yes, sir. <laughs> threaten your kids. You can also use a food processor if you want. That's what I usually use. I didn't want to have to clean it up after I was done. I'm just gonna just tell y'all the truth. Alrighty, so now we have our chickpeas all mashed and we're gonna add in our spices. You can add onion to this if you want. I love onion in mine, but my children don't really like raw onions like that, so I'm not gonna add it to this. You could also add celery or celery salt. I don't have either, wish I did, but I don't. So now it's time for our relish and I'm just gonna put a big spoon of it. Then we're gonna add in our mayo. I'm gonna put two big dollops of it in there. Our mustard, almost out. I'm literally just adding the end of it. That's probably about a tablespoon. Black pepper. About 12 cracks, I love black pepper. A little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt because this um, is really strong. It's stronger than regular salt. If I had to guess, I would say that was probably like one fourth of a teaspoon, if that much. A pinch of sugar, and we're just gonna mix it. All right, let's taste it. That's fire. More black pepper. Oh my God, it's good. Mmm. I almost forgot. I want to add the juice of a very ripe lemon. I was gonna add more salt, but it was the lemon that it needed. It's so good, more lemon. Mm-hmm. So good. So now we're gonna get our bread and open it. And all I'm gonna do is start putting it on my bread. Um, as little or as much as you want, it's really up to you. This is about four servings. 
All right, so let's take our cheese. We're gonna triangle slice it. Okay, like so, just like that. And now I have a toaster oven, so I am gonna toast mine in the oven. You can grill yours or toast it on the stove like a grilled cheese, or you can put it in the oven on the broil. My toaster oven is the truth, and I love using it, so that's what I'm gonna use. All right, you guys, so it's finished toasting and it's melted perfectly. It looks amazing. So all I'm gonna do now is add a little bit of mayo to the other side of the bread, only because I don't want it to be super dry. You don't have to do this because obviously the cheese is gooey, but I just like to add a tiny bit more. And then I'm gonna top it with a 50-50 blend spring mix. You can actually use any lettuce that you want, or no lettuce, if you don't want to use any, that's perfectly fine. Doesn't make you weird or anything that you're watching the vegan channel and don't wanna use lettuce. <laughs> you can add tomato if you want. You can add onion at the end if you didn't add it in the mixture. You could put chips in it if you wanna make it a crunch sandwich. All right, let's give it a shot. Wow, it's so good. Mm. All the flavors blend together perfectly. That pepper jack cheese is a like an amazing addition. The crunch of the toasted bread, and then the blend of all the spices. The old bay gives it that fishy taste without it being nasty. I love it. Mm. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Vegan tuna milk. It's very delicious, I suggest you try it. Add whatever you want, take whatever you want away. You can add tomato, you can use regular bread. It does not matter, make it your own. And if you do, I do wanna see, okay? Well, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you guys, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.